to my bedroom door shut and spit at my best friend's picture. I hated her and everyone in my family. Because I had this condition, they thought they could use me. But oh boy, they messed with the wrong girl. Hi, I'm Lulia from Ukraine. I'm the youngest in our family with three older brothers. My dad never wanted a girl. He just wanted to raise a team of healthy young boys. He was very proud of himself for being so manly that he had only produced sons. But mom had always really wanted a daughter. When she gave birth to me, he glared down at my tiny red face and said to my mom, So, you finally did it, huh? I swear, if she isn't pretty, you're really gonna pay for it. My mom did everything to take really good care of me and make me pretty. Once she came to me and said, Listen, you're not allowed to eat junk food, ever. And she snatched the candy from my hand. When she left, I opened the lower drawer and took another candy. I ate whatever I wanted behind her back. Mom started taking me to salons when I was five, and she would leave me there. I would regularly get manicures and pedicures. Every day I'd have a routine of face masks and visits to the hair salon, but no session would go on for more than 10 minutes before I interrupted it. One time I pushed the ladies away and yelled at them. I took out my stories. Read this for me and I will tell mom you did a great job. They loved it. One day I also asked them to start teaching me how to read. They said I was too young, but I said, try me. I never knew I was going to learn how to read and write in a hair salon. Dad was delighted that I turned out to be so pretty. He used to carry me around on his shoulders all over the neighborhood to show me off. One day, when I was in the fifth grade, my teacher gave me the role of the princess's dad. When Dad heard about it, he came to the school the next day and yelled at the teacher and insulted her. He made her make me the princess or else. When he left, I told the teacher, I apologize for Dad's stupidity. I'm going to play the role of the princess's dad because I love it and I hugged her. There was nothing Dad wouldn't do for his favorite child. But suddenly, all that changed. When I was in the seventh grade, I came back home one day feeling really itchy all over. I looked at the mirror and saw my skin was as red as a rotten tomato. Dad came in, of course, without knocking, and saw me. He freaked out and quickly took me to the best skin doctor in the city. After examining me, the doctor said I had a rare condition called dermographism, which means skin writing. That's because I could etch my name into my skin using only the pressure of a fingernail. He said there was no reason for why it might flare up at times, and there was really no cure for it. When we left the clinic, I told Dad, don't worry, Dad. I will read about this disease and find ways to fix this. Dad looked at me with disgust and said he didn't want a daughter like me. I wished Mom would just slap him. Or one of my brothers would tell him he's being a complete jerk. But nothing happened. Dad just turned away and left the house. Why was Dad a terrible piece of... Ugh! I swore to always keep my condition a secret. I couldn't trust anyone with it, except my best friend Monica. You should come over tonight so we can read about this disease together. When Dad saw her, he hugged her. Your parents must be so proud to have such a beautiful daughter. My brothers were even more ridiculous. They knew she was really rich, and my youngest brother kept asking her how many servants she had. The eldest kept hitting on her, and when she told him to stop, he said he would if she paid him $100. I threw my shoe at him and told him he was a pig. I told them all to shut up and took Monica's hand and led her to my room. We both read about... Download Byju's, the all-new and personalized learning app. And found nothing. When I got to middle school, I had eyes only for one boy, Elon. Once, we were sitting in the library, I noticed my hands had started to turn a little red. Feeling alarmed, I let go, but suddenly, Elon pulled me in by the waist and kissed me. Just then, I saw Monica. She was standing there, staring at me with the most hateful expression. She came to me with a manic look and suddenly grabbed my wrist. Instantly, big red welts started to appear. She snatched the friendship bracelet she'd given me, sending beads flying everywhere. How could you even think of going out with Elon when you knew he's my dream? I hate you. I just stared at her, stunned. How could I possibly know? You've never said a word. You need to stop seeing him or I'll tell him about your secret. Oh, how could she? I said, fine, I will stop seeing him. She instantly smiled and hugged me tight like a psycho. Of course, I wasn't going to stop seeing Elon. Monica wasn't the boss of me. I started dating him in secret. In the school hallways, I would simply walk past him like he didn't exist. But we would meet up outside later every day. And I was fast falling in love. One day, Elon and I decided to skip gym class 
and meet at the big tree in the schoolyard. Elon had just pulled me in for a kiss when I felt someone drag me away by my shirt. I turned around to see Monica, and this time, she just went insane. She kept shouting, liar, liar, as she pinched and poked my arms. Thick red rashes were popping up like crazy all over my skin. Elon stepped back, looking horrified. Look, Elon, she's a complete freak. I felt helpless at first, but then I felt a wave of fury rise inside me. I slapped her hard across the cheek and ran off. Elon kept texting me and said he couldn't care less about my allergies. All he wanted was to see me. I didn't reply to any of his calls or messages. One night, I heard a gentle tapping on my window, and I pushed back the curtains to see that it was Elon. Please, leave me alone, Elon. You deserve someone much better. I'm not leaving until you talk to me, Lulia. He just wouldn't go away, no matter how hard I tried. I was afraid he'd wake someone up, so I let him in. He took my hands and looked at me earnestly. Lulia, there isn't a thing about you that could make me love you any less. My heart completely melted, and I let him stay with me for the night. Suddenly, we heard some noises downstairs, and Elon quickly snuck out. A few moments later, I heard a knocking on the window. I smiled and ran to open it, but when I parted the curtain, I almost screamed and fell back in horror. It was Monica. What do you think you're doing here, you witch? I'm here to warn you, that boy is mine. I'm not sharing him with anyone. You better break up with him or else. I locked the window and shut the curtains in her face. Thankfully, it seemed like she'd left. But man, the girl was turning into a complete nut job. The next day in school, I could see Monica by the lockers giving me a deathly glare. I also spotted Elon smiling and waving at me. If she thought I was scared of her, she was mistaken. I ran up to him, grabbed his face, and gave him a long kiss. When I looked up, she had disappeared. What was this psycho up to? Later that day in art class, I was painting away my self-portrait, when suddenly I felt a dash of cold water on my back. I gasped, and to my horror, I saw that my painting was completely ruined. That's so much better, actually. Now it looks more like you, a freak. I just snapped. I turned around and was about to throw a tin of paint in Monica's face, but I stopped when I saw the teacher coming. My eyes, my eyes, this monster is out of control. What 